Okay, the first step is to remove the engine covers, starting with the top right hand corner. Use a 10mm socket to unlock the clip. And do the same for the left side. And then remove all the engine covers. Once all the engine covers are out of the way, take a prying tool, remove the small black clip that is holding on to the firewall rubber sleeve. Next, remove a cable that is attached to the rubber sleeve and take out the rubber sleeve. Please be careful when removing this cover as it may flip and fall in the depths of your engine bay. I had no choice but to remove the air box because I dropped the little bugger. There we go. Next, we need to remove the strike bar. There are four screws or four bolts holding on to this strike bar. Use a torque E18 socket to remove this bolt. Remove the other one of the strike tower. At the back, there are two bolts holding on to the strike bar. Use a 16mm socket. The bolt. Once the bolts are all out, remove the strut, strut bar gently and place it aside. Next, we need to remove this plastic cover. It is hold on by 7 10 mm bolts.
this out we can remove this sound or noise deadening foam we now have clear access to the coils and please do a visual inspection make sure that there are no debris surrounding the coils to remove the coil use an E8 torque socket once that is done unplug all connectors carefully remove and place them in sequence Make sure to clean them. These are visual inspection being done. So here are the replacement parts for the spark plug. The part number will be listed in the description below. Next we will be removing the spark plug. Use a long narrow 14mm magnetic socket. I'm detaching the vacuum hose because it gets in my way. Once all spark plug has been removed, do a visual inspection. It seems like my third spark plug has some oil leaks. Also, they are all seem worn out. The box is showing the correct torque spec for tightening the bolt. Next, take the spark plug and place them in the engine bay. I mean, in the engine. Tight, tighten each spark plug with 23 newton meters. I'm using a digital top wrench for the 
process. Once you complete all four, we will be removed. I mean, we will move on to the ignition coils. Before installing them, use a contact cleaner to clean the coils contact. This is to make sure that it has good contact with the spark plug. to clean them before you put them in. Now let's reinstall them and Tighten it to 7 Nm When this is done, reconnect all connectors to the coil. Make sure the small white pin clicks perfectly. Also make sure to reattach the vacuum hose once you're done. Reinstall all engine covers and start the engine. Moment of truth. Engine is running smoothly. Job well done. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe and like for more videos.